Hi everyone and welcome to K-Tapes once again this week. Uh, today we're gonna do something a bit different. Uh, I thought about maybe going through like packages I've received today. So just so you know, I rarely buy tapes. Actually, I think the last tape I bought was back in 2009. And ever since I didn't buy anything else. And by that, I mean uh, foreign tapes. Uh, I do buy a lot of Korean tapes, of course, but um, foreign tapes, I never buy anything. I think the last ones were maybe Japanese tapes. Uh, again, that was back in 2009, 2010, around that time. But ever since I didn't buy anything. But recently, I got a great deal on some uh, Japanese and Spanish and a Greek tape that I purchased from a guy in Italy. So the two packages I received this week are both from Italy and I'm really happy that they arrived safe. I mean, I don't know, I'm going to open them. I hope the tapes are fine, but the packages look okay. They don't seem to be damaged or anything. One was sent uh, a bit like a priority mail. So this one, this big one here, this one arrived a bit earlier and this one arrived just a day before. It's funny because this one was sent like I think two weeks prior to this one, but they both arrived pretty much at the same time, like within a day uh, difference. So let's get to it. So I'm just going to do today a um, unboxing. I never do that. I have another unboxing that I'm thinking about doing with some posters. Uh, by the way, you guys can comment down below. Tell me if that's something you want to see or it's just like you want me to stick to <laughs> reviewing tapes and the Korean stuff. But this is pretty much the only non-Korean tape thing I will have in, in my videos. Um, and simply because I'm excited about those boxes because I never receive any. Okay, so let's go with this one. Uh, let's open this. Got the scissors. I got the cutter. I think with, I'll be fine with scissors right there. Okay. It's not like a super padded package, so should be fine. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I've seen better wrap. Whoops. Better packages than this like my packages, ha ha ha. But it's fine, I mean, as long as the tapes arrive safe, I'm happy. Okay, let's go. So these two tapes, by the way, are both Spanish tapes, and one of them is pretty rare. But I was aware, by the way, the quality of, of the actual tape, I mean, the uh, it's not that clean. It will need some of my magic cleaning. So here are the two nice purchases so i hope there's not much reflection okay i guess that's fine so they're both spanish releases uh they will need a bit of cleaning i mean the boxes and everything they look a bit beat up but uh i believe i think it's this one i have to ask the seller again but one of the two is really rare i think it's that one and it's in pretty good condition okay seems to be maybe a little broken piece inside yeah there's something broken inside it doesn't matter uh, thankfully I know how to clean tapes and fix them so that's not an issue for me uh, of course it it always sucks if something's broken I know some people like just go crazy nuts over like a little tiny piece broken and they, they can't live with it uh, in my case I know how to fix things so that's not an issue I mean I'll fix it uh, the on, my <clears throat> only main concern with this tape, if you can see, I hope the focus, wait, let me redo the focus right here. Okay. Is that the reel is pretty dirty. It's pretty nasty. Uh, this looks like, you know, it's like, it's not really white. Like it's not really mold, although it is, uh, but it's more like brownish. So that's kind of more like dust and, and dirt. And that is way more difficult to remove uh, than actual white mold, which is fairly easy to remove. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can check my other video on how to clean mold. Uh, it's nearly an hour long, so <laughs> I, uh, I suggest you to grab a coffee and sit down and listen to it. Uh, I go in really like lots of details concerning like how to clean tapes and 
uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, this one will need really a big cleaning. Okay, so this is the first one, really beautiful tape. Let's put it back, really rare one. Um, I'm glad, that's also an issue with, with most collectors is uh, people sometimes pay attention to the spine, like is it faded or anything. So this one is, is really cool because the spine isn't faded. And I mean, the, the, the entire box is pretty clean. I mean, I just need to, you know, dust off the, the actual plastic box or maybe replace it. But the sleeve inside is clean. So that's a really nice purchase. I'm really happy about this one. Now this one, uh, this one, yeah, looks fine. I mean, again, we'll need some cleaning. I'll need to remove the sleeve out from there and just clean it up let's check inside oh yeah that's what i was told that it was missing the sticker on the side and top but it's apparently an original tape uh not gonna be fussy over it i knew about it and for the price i paid i'm not going to argue so this is the second purchase and maybe you're wondering, okay, uh, what's the movie, by the way? Yeah, I totally forgot to tell you. This movie is Wolf Devil Woman or Wolf and Lady. Uh, it's known under like two or three different titles. But Wolf Devil Woman is the, uh, the most common one. Uh, and usually people know the Ocean Shore uh, release because it's the most iconic one with the beautiful artwork. Although those artwork are these artwork are really cool too so wolf devil woman uh, those releases I've never came across them so I just jumped on them and also because I do sometimes some um, uh, personal projects I do like uncut versions of movies I just edit them on my computer and stuff so that's why I purchased them and even if they don't play well at least I can use some of the artwork to do my own DVD covers and stuff so that's the main reason I purchased them. So anyway, these are the two first tapes. Let's put them aside. Now let's go with the big box. What's inside the box? Let's find out. Okay. Um, I guess it's like, it's a plastic, not plastic, I mean a cardboard box. So want to cut through you know how it is you, you use your cutter and you're like nah am i going to damage some something inside so you want to be careful okay right. let's just cut this up ebay hey there you go Put this away uh, now you want to find the edges of the box right here wow okay should be fine there you go okay well i guess those were shouldn't be damaged or anything because the packaging is pretty good so thank you again to the person in italy that sold me these tapes they're really beautiful tapes so let's start with these two right here so what we have here two Japanese tapes um, this one is pretty rare and actually quite expensive too and I got a good deal once again on both tape and I thank the the seller for for these wonderful purchases uh, so this is impossible woman this one is jeez, uh, totally forgot the title there's ninja in it anyway ninja something so yeah, uh, very rare tapes. Uh, they're usually quite pricey. Um, by pricey, I mean maybe around a hundred bucks each, I think. Uh, that's what I was told last time. I know a collector who paid this one $200 maybe a couple of years ago. Again, the market is, you know, going up and down with tapes. You never know. It's always goes to the highest bidder. It's always offer and demand so you don't know you know you can you can buy a tape like a thousand bucks and the next month oh it's only like 500 although 500 is still a lot of money but hey so those tapes were good price um 
good thing with this one is it's the only widescreen version. Like many Japanese tapes, you have to give them that. They always go with the widescreen letterbox format. So this one is the original widescreen version of this film, although it is dubbed. And to my knowledge, there are no uh, original audio for this movie. It's only the bad, horrible English dub. <laughs> so we're stuck with that. Although it's widescreen, so that's a good one. And it's this one's considered as part two, although it's not really. Anyway, great tapes. Really happy about these two. So now let's go to what I consider the pearl of my purchases. So the last tape right here. Once again, Wolfen, uh, Wolfen Lady, yeah, or uh, Wolf Devil Woman. But this is the Greek tape. Uh, it has gorgeous artwork. Of course, there's this kind of fold that you see here. Apparently, like 99% of Greek tapes have that horrible fold because of the time when they were renting those tapes. They would just like fold the covers and put them in plastic casings. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I have to investigate a bit more about that. But I've been told that many, many Greek tapes have this horrible fold on the spine. See if I can just focus. There you go. So this kind of fold here. It's not too apparent. It's it's kind of subtle, but depending on the angle, it's annoying. I know for like top collectors, but the overall quality of this tape here is really clean. So I'm not too fussy about that. And I do not collect these tapes, especially for their uh, mint quality or anything. I, like I said, I mainly bought them to make a project out of those and the, the big attraction with this one is that it's the only widescreen version that exists of this film all other versions are either like full screen or like a 160 maybe 166 yeah like a slight widescreen but not quite more looks more like a full screen anyway so this is, I think, like it's a 235 widescreen uh, or 220. Anyway, it's, it's, it's fairly wide. Uh, so yeah, the only widescreen version. And it's, of course, subtitled in Greek. Uh, for the language, I think it's in English uh, that I'll have to verify. Anyhow, so this is what the tape looks like. It's very, very good condition, pretty clean. So, well, it's probably missing sticker on the side doesn't matter uh, to be at least uh, tape is complete very clean so yeah another great purchase right there so here we go Greek wolf devil woman two Spanish releases right there beautiful and the two Japanese uh, movies i mean not movies two japanese tapes and those i think are taiwanese films so taiwanese films and there is your uh, again it's, that's a taiwanese film if i'm correct yeah wolf devil woman i think is taiwanese so there you go a bunch of taiwanese films great releases clean tapes except this one that will need a special treatment my special <laughs> cleaning treatment otherwise they're in what i would say pretty good collect collectible condition yeah so to speak all right guys so that's it for today i just wanted to make this very quick video i hope you enjoy if you want to see more of that kind of stuff let me know uh, i'm preparing like i said another video about movie posters this time so i have i just purchased about a dozen korean movie posters like old school stuff from the early 80s the 70s so if you want to see that i'm probably going to make the video tomorrow so just keep watching let me know so don't forget if you want to comment down below let me know if you have any uh, suggestions if there's something you don't like something you like it's always fun to read your comments so have a great weekend and see you next time